As surprising as this may seem, Bitcoin has been underperforming its crypto ilk over the past few weeks. Data from CoinMarketCap shows that Bitcoin dominance, the percentage of this market made up by BTC, has fallen from 66% to 64.9% in the past three days. To further contextualize this, as of the time of this article's writing, Bitcoin has fallen 6% in the past 24 hours while both Ethereum and XRP have posted relatively strong performances of minus 3%. There's little to explain this trend, in fact, a top crypto investment fund recently reduced its exposure to altcoins and increased its allocation to Bitcoin. Here's why it did that. In Crypto in this crisis, Pantera Blockchain Letter, March 2020, Dan Moorhead and Joey Krug of blockchain-centric fund Pantera Capital explained that Bitcoin will probably outperform other tokens for a while, explaining that it is one of the crypto projects that are entrenched and doesn't rely on funding per se, they further explained that there's typically a flight to quality or flight to safety where people want to put money in the mega caps, the safest asset, the treasuries of the industry. In the case of crypto assets, Bitcoin is a treasury bond, as it is much more liquid than the rest. Pantera doesn't only think the crypto market will begin to re-centralize around Bitcoin, the fund also thinks the leading digital asset will outperform amid these times of crisis. Earlier in the letter, Moorhead explained that the unorthodox monetary and fiscal response to the crisis will be extremely bullish for Bitcoin. He wrote, as to how exactly it will affect Bitcoin, Moorhead explains that with this backdrop, it will take around 12 months for the BTC price to set a new record above $20,000, which would mark at least a 230% rally from the current price point of $6,200 in under a year's time.